might actually be in this video if you watch until the very end. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here in my super old survival world. What I've built here is pretty big, as you could probably tell by that intro, and it actually involves every single one of you. We're building a huge library. But before we get more into that, first off, hi, I changed my skin back. <laughs> Some of you guys are asking. Uh, before we get into that and how you can join this beautiful library, let's talk a bit more about the build. So, I thought before I kept going and explained more about the library and did any more building, I would kind of just show you guys what I've done already and also just give you a bit of a detailed analysis just so that if you wanted to build something similar, uh, you could and of course, you're more than welcome to. Uh, send me a picture even, I love seeing what you guys make and it always makes my day. So, these bookshelves are pretty basic. You got your standard backwards loom, which is arguably the nicest texture <laughs> it's better than these ones that's for sure uh i got yeah these bookshelves here these are the i think there's books in here yeah these are the the new ones that you can fill up on your own which is pretty nifty and of course regular bookshelf and uh beehives because these kind of look like drawers and they have very similar line sizing so that it kind of looks like it belongs uh, I just thought it looked a bit gross with just the other ones. I think these full blocks really add that much more value. And then in between, I didn't want to do just books. Uh, I did that at first and I didn't think it looked very good. So what I did is I added some skulk. I don't have any in my inventory. I was going to show you uh, some skulk blocks and some concrete powder, the black variant. I think this is a really nice mix because it makes it look a lot more um, smooth, I guess would be the word. A lot less busy with just these blocks. I think it would be too much. So I think it's cool to break it up. And of course, there are armor stands in between those. Uh, it's not all done. The detailing isn't done at all. This is just the base layer. I'm going to add a lot more. And for the walls and the structure, I used my classic mix of a million different blocks. Um, <laughs> if you guys think this looks too busy, let me know, because I'm kind of on the fence about it. And also back here, we have um, these trees that I put down, because I really like the effect that these give off. They're not doing it that much right now, but I think this just looks awesome. And I wanted more of that. And of course, it's a newer block. I wanted to incorporate it. The idea is there will be another one here. This place will be symmetrical. And down here, I'm not exactly sure what I will put yet. Maybe a reading nook was suggested or an aquarium, uh, something like that. I am not sure. But before we keep going, we have a bit of an issue in the world here. And that is I don't have any way to collect experience anymore because Mojang, in their infinite wisdom, deleted my favorite quote unquote feature, which was Iron Golems collecting experience for you. So my nether... Pigman farm is ruined and I need to build something new. <laughs> so let's take one minute out of our time here and go build something like that. Okay, this is kind of messed up. <laughs> what do I do? I missed having experience come out fast from a farm. <laughs> um, for the past little while, I've been using a skeleton farm, which is so slow, but I'm so very happy uh, to have this farm done and to be able to continue with the library build. And if I give you guys just a quick tour here, it's a really basic farm. Uh, they run towards this endermite, though a lot of them just kind of stand around. I don't really understand. But anyway, they run towards the endermite in here and they fall down and I kill him. I kill him with my swoop and edge sword. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so let's get back to the library. Okay, so we are back inside the museum here. And now we have a bunch of levels and a bunch of ender pearls. And I'm curious, do you guys still use ender pearls? I feel like back in the day, these were the only way to get around and I always had some on me. 
But now with the wings and the scaffolding, I feel like it'd be cool if they added uh, more use cases for Ender Pearls. The only time I ever really use them is if I'm in some like really tight redstone and I don't want to break stuff to get out, I will use Ender Pearls. But it's not that great of a utility item anymore, unfortunately, because they used to be really cool. Um, I want to talk a bit more about this and how incredibly expensive and grindy it has been to uh, build this so far. So <laughs> if you're still watching and you don't mind leaving like a like or something or a comment, uh, it would help me out a lot because this is ridiculously expensive. Uh, I've burned through almost like half a shulker box of uh, emeralds on villagers for the bookcases and at least seven or eight stacks of wood to get all the, the looms and everything and farming the spider farm. Oh geez, it's really expensive. But uh, we're nowhere near done. The next step that we're going to do is this little center piece here. I have a pretty cool idea of what I want to do. But obviously, it's going to take some work because right now it's not looking too great. <laughs> so let me get cracking on that and I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. It has been way longer than a minute, <laughs> but uh, well worth the effort if I can show you guys here. Uh, I ended up doing this like fake glass fog effect, which didn't really work out in the end. I might do something just a little bit different and kind of maybe try to add more layers or something. But if I'm honest, I kind of ran out of blocks. So that's kind of what it's going to look like for now. <laughs> I used also, uh, I think this is blue. Yeah, blue terracotta. It's kind of purplish. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me I'm actually colorblind. But it's actually purplish and it gives a really cool hue to the background of books and with the leaves and everything i just find it matches really well and it pops out super well uh obviously not super done detailing but it's a really good start i think and also you'll notice i've done a lot off camera <laughs> i've also completed this side with the tree and it's actually mirrored perfectly i thought that would be nice for balance but the leaves are different, but the logs are the same. Um, we're still missing a bit of lighting. I've also done the top in brick. I think we're going to keep this brick granite vibe going because I really like it. I've also done up here and here and all around here. And that is all my iron, folks. I literally have no more iron at all, <laughs> but I think it looks really cool. Um, I've also... Sorry, it's been a while since I've recorded and I have so much to say. Uh, I've also realized that this whole place was actually off center by one. So I had to lower the whole thing and that was really fun. And doing this top thing has been a nightmare. I really don't know what to do for the ceiling yet. But as you can see, uh, if I F1 this and I'm going to get rid of this beacon too, don't you worry. Uh, it's really coming along. I'm really, really happy. And we are getting near the end of the library project here. Whoops. Uh, we're getting pretty close to calling it done. At least this part. As long as we don't turn around. I <laughs> uh, will complete this later. Don't worry. But uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. Uh, you can see from that little montage, which I hope you enjoyed. I did add some more decoration. There's still a lot more to do though. And I added this dragon carpet. Uh, this is from Reddit. I think this was posted a few years ago. I've always wanted to incorporate it into this world, but I just never had the space because it's absolutely massive. But uh, here it is in this spot. I think it looks pretty good. Now, I'd like to get back to what I said at the start, where you might actually be in this video and what I meant by that. Whoa. Oh, wow. That was cool. Um, so <laughs> what I meant by this, obviously, uh, it's a library, so I thought it would be cool to kind of, we already kind of did the comment of the day for a while, but I thought it would be cool to add everybody's comments into books, into the library, and these statues, and believe me, there'll be more, but uh, these statues 
and some pots and some paintings will all be attributed to you guys. So I'm going to add some signs with usernames of everybody who's commented and helped out or, you know, has given me feedback and all that fun stuff. Uh, you will get to be in here forever in my world because really I do appreciate every single one of you. Uh, it's it's really hard <laughs> to, to like to do this sometimes, but uh, the comments make it worth it and the feedback from you guys make it worth it. So it's kind of like a thank you. I'd love to have you guys in my world as a constant reminder of those of you who, who've helped out. So leave a comment, leave some feedback, and I will start adding these slowly. And if you're not in it, don't be, don't be sad. Uh, you'll get added sooner or later, <laughs> surely. It is an ongoing process. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we head to the dedication section of the video, uh, I did add some banners and some detailing up here. Obviously, it's not like 100% done. I like to build that way where I'll just keep slowly adding things over time. So maybe even by the next video, this will have like completely changed or been upgraded. <laughs> anyway, let's go give some dedications and some shout outs. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of all your names being added to the library. And uh, obviously, we're going to add some more as time goes on. So be sure to check back in frequently because I'll be doing this uh, in my off time, probably between episodes. So the observant around you have probably noticed that I've added a crap load of detail. Well, that's cool. And a lot has changed in this room. <laughs> uh, the first thing I'll address, I did change my shaders. I think these look a lot brighter and a lot nicer and they're pretty similar to before where it's like almost vanilla um so if you're wondering what changed that's what it is and it is shaders complementary unbound uh next change that i thought was really nice i did change the floor out um that was a long time coming though i didn't like the spruce i thought it was too dark for the space because like up here it makes sense uh because there's not much of it but down there huge big chunk of it didn't look good so i changed it out for birch which was kind of annoying but definitely worth it in the end <laughs> of course i added some more shelving a little pile of stuff uh some benches some seating stuff like that and i added these plant racks to where we're like collecting and growing plants which i thought was really cool and these ladders uh, i also added some paintings a little bit everywhere but a few more paintings um, what else did I add? Oh yeah, this whole back thing here has all been done, and I carried through the cherry leaves everywhere. Now, if you guys have any ideas of other decorations to put in here, there's still room, and I'll even take stuff out if I like your idea better. <laughs> so, leave it in the comments. And more importantly, I need to know what to do with these rooms. I kind of gave up, I've been scratching my head. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, it could be rooms, it could be hallways, it could be a whole bunch of stuff. I really don't care and I have absolutely no idea what to do. So any feedback would be super amazing. So that's pretty much the entire library here. Uh, overall, I think it's one of the biggest projects that I've made in this world so far. Definitely in the top five. Uh, maybe not for like complexity, but just like size and amount of blocks. I think it totaled up to like 100,000 uh, blocks that I dug out for this. <laughs> so pretty nuts. Uh, of course, I'm super satisfied and it'll obviously change over time. But for now, I mean, you know, <laughs> gotta, gotta wrap it up eventually and move on. I get kind of bored of projects after a few weeks anyway. So I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, I'd like to say thank you if you made it all the way to the end. I appreciate you. And I really hope you guys leave me some feedback, what I could change, what I could do better, 
what you liked, all that stuff. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. So until next time, bye-bye.